Lame e limone. This is an Italian ice cream place. In Italy there is the dream. I sell everything and I go and open an ice cream in Spain or somewhere warm in the tropics. <laughs> they did it. <laughs> they just pack up and left. You're happy about your choice. Yeah. See. Si. <laughs> so, good that's good. So if you want to do something else that is not cycling around the world with the bike, you can go and open a gelato uh, shop somewhere. Lovely stay in Conil della Frontera. Short but lovely. It's actually nice Conil della Frontera because it's not on the beach, but there is a little bit of land between the village and the beach. So now I have to follow the main road. There is a bike lane. But yeah, the only option would have been going through the beach. Uh, but I, I should have waited for the low tide. But now... Jesus Christ. He spit on me. For fuck's sake. I haven't been spat on since Ethiopia. Thought I would have left behind the spit thing when I left Ethiopia. I was told by two people that I need to go up the hill and continue that way. But I find a route this way. A guy that was training for the Ironman told me I wouldn't be able to cycle this. I'll do a little bit and then uh, if I can, I can. If not, I go back and I go up, up the hill. It is a uh, very loose sand here. Jesus, here, this is the, the shit hole of this uh, bitch. Look at this place, it's beautiful. So peaceful. Fuck the road. Tough work. Very good view, so. Oh man, this hiker bike was brutal. It was so steep. I had to remove my panniers, bring them up go down and take the bike up. That was the longest and toughest hike a bike in all time. I didn't even have the energy to document. But nice trail on the cliffs and now I had to climb up. of trade very nice but such a hard work at the end I move up a few hundred meters to this bigger trail because it was getting really tough I was getting uh, worn out too bad I don't have enough water otherwise I would have stopped somewhere around here to camp Very, very nice. I love this place. The gate is open on this side. Uh, police car, uh, Guardia Civil or military, I can't remember. Just uh, went through four by four. And they conveniently go straight. left the gate open. Ah, there was an easily put there. Anyway. I had to cross another beach, but I didn't take any video for uh, public decency. It was a uh, kind of a nude beach, but there was only guys. Here on this trail, it's quite tough. Today, not many kilometers, 
but really, really tough going on this sand. I'm exhausted. Oh, pushing, pushing. I can't do it. What time is it? Quarter past seven. Let's do another hour and then I'll camp. It's really, really nice, but it's so fucking tough today. So tough. Sand everywhere. Sand everywhere. I don't think I pushed through this much sand even when I was in Africa and Namibia. No? Never. Never so much sand. Oh, we go down. At least we go down. 100 meters we go down. Fuck. Fucking hell. I don't know how I got the the power to get back on my bike. See, it's, whoa, it's very, very deep sand. I need to push a little bit. Here I think I can go. This is very deep. Maybe I can do it, maybe I can do it. Ah. Oh. Let's see how I can approach if I push from there. And that's a view on the bay of uh, Bologna. I'm out of the park, sunset. Maybe I should have stayed in the park. It was a safe place to come. Let's see where I end up now. I think we go through like some dunes now. I thought it was a dirt road. I'm actually glad. Because I thought it was, uh, I had to push through the sand. But the thing is, I don't know where to camp. It'd be nice to camp uh, up in the dunes, but <laughs> who's got the power to push the bike up there? Fuck no. No way. Good morning, boys and girls. Where I slept last night. It's like a pantano. It's, a, it's like a swamp. A swamp that uh, now is dry. And there is a parking spot that is used by people with uh, campers, caravana. My back really hurts. Yesterday, I didn't do a very good job documenting. The route was really, really intense. I mean, uh, it was really, really tough yesterday. And uh, maybe I should have been a little bit more careful uh, with my back, the first part. Because I thought it was only the first part, but it was the whole day. There was bits and pieces I should have removed the, the front panniers and came back for the bike and but I uh, I lift it I lift the whole bike and uh, it was no good I can't do this lifting anymore It took a toll on my back and uh, I'm falling apart so today I really need some rest so my route would go through the sand beach and I I have no energy in my back to to do all this uh, sandwich and then uh, Tarifa is just 10 kilometers around that. So what I have to do now, there is a little bit of a paved road. I'll go back. So it's a long, uh, it's a long beach. We are in uh, an interesting place. This is the Atlantic Ocean. This is the Mediterranean Sea. That's Europe southmost point. And uh, the mountains you see on the other side, that's Africa. You can see the map, the Strait of Gibraltar. Goodbye, Atlantic. Welcome, Mediterranean Sea. Now I just need to find a place to camp. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully with no cows, but they're everywhere. I'll have to look at my map, but the guy had said that at some point there is a, a junction. And if you go left, you go towards the city. 
and if you go right you go to the lighthouse usually lighthouses are military area so the peaceful view of the Gibraltar Strait without any noise any people any destruction look at the moon what a view on the strait what a view we could camp here or now we have the holy trinity al jazeera gibraltar and the strait of gibraltar this is the place to be that hill is gibraltar and that's uh, la linea la linea de concepcion you can see a very nice uh, series on netflix it's like the the narco land uh, of spain uh, but here who's gonna bother me and it's free it's free while camping that's how you travel guys not four star hotel this is a five thousand star hotel who's got this view there's full of hotels around here but who got this view me only me only me has this view look at this look at the sunset on gibraltar Strait. that's it the tent is pitched the light of the city are on the sunset is almost over but what a beautiful spot sunrise in gibraltar it's a bit cloudy here very humid last night it was very freaky there was two winds wind coming from uh from the atlantic competing with the the wind coming from uh from the Sahara, from, uh, from Morocco. So sometimes, most of the times, the, the wind from, uh, from the Atlantic was winning and it was kind of cold. And sometimes you would feel like the wind from, uh, from the Sahara and it was really warm. Waiting for the sunrise in Gibraltar. Uh, I think I will go back to my tent and wait for the sun to go up a little bit more. Dry a little bit the tent before I pack and leave. In the silence, listen. May it live. Right, it's time to to start. Now you see better Gibraltar. Huh? That's the only way for me to continue. No, there's no fucking way I'm gonna do this. Because also I don't know what's on the other side, to be honest. I feel a bit like a failure to arrive in Algeciras from the paved road. But all these, uh, these mountains, the land is fenced everywhere. And these dirt roads are inaccessible. Or you arrive at dead ends, like before. To be honest, even to get into there, I had to go through like a gate. I left Algeciras. And yeah, luckily, 
I found a, a little bakery and grocery open and I stopped for a bit of food. Almost made it to Gibraltar. La linea. La linea de Concepcion. This is where all the marijuana and ashes of Europe goes through from Morocco. I think I'm about to cross the border. No tax for crossing to Gibraltar. Be aware of non-official requests. Huh. Wonder what's a non-official request. Since I don't know what to do in uh, Gibraltar, I will just go around the island and go back to La Linea. I have a horse for the night there. Or a couple of nights, I guess. Look at the registration plates of the cars. GBZ. I'm pretty sure uh, United Kingdom is just GB. But those are all GBZ. Spooky. That's nice, a swimming pool. I think it's a free public swimming pool. See, there is no gates. Gibraltar gets weirder and weirder. This tunnel feels quite old. Met a fellow bike traveler from Switzerland, Leonardo that he also told me why it's GBZ and not GB, the registration plate of the card. There you go, mystery solved. Great Britain zone, GBZ. Look at the baboons. This tunnel has no bike lane. Yes. Look at this. What the fuck? My tour of Gibraltar is coming to an end. This is the airport in Gibraltar. And that's uh, half of the landing. The runaway. So we are crossing the airport of Gibraltar with our bicycles. I don't know how many flights they land here every day, but a couple of ones, probably. Well, now, back in Spain. Mm -hmm.